let us go to next question question number 3 the statements are all sweets are watches some watches are cars the conclusions we have to verify are conclusion 1 some sweets are cars and no sweet is car let us see the working question number 3 the statement is all S or W statement 2 is some W or C or C the conclusions we have to test are conclusion 1 some S or C conclusion 2 no SEC now we have graduated to calling it as sweets and watches and all we have forgotten now we call it as S and W and S and C now what is the first step in uh, immediate inference we have to identify the statements all S or W A type statement some W or C I type statement now after that next we have to go, go to the conclusions we have to find whether the conclusions are immediate or immediate some S or C S is here C is here and it is in two statements therefore it is immediate inference similarly here also S and C therefore this is also immediate inference both inferences we have to test they are immediate inferences now immediate inference means what we have to find out whether there is any common term and if it is aligned so is there any common term yes there is a common term w w is there and it is also aligned therefore we can cancel and we can draw a conclusion now a plus i what is the conclusion we can draw from a plus i we cannot draw there is no conclusion a plus i has got no conclusions and you will please remember the mnemonic uh, six mnemonic uh, devices i have told there is no conclusion because there is no conclusion both are false both immediate inferences given are false now can we just uh, go ahead with this when both conclusions are false what should happen in your mind an alarm bell should ring that alarm bell is called complementary pair you should have to check for complementary pair what are the three conditions for complementary pair the three conditions for complementary pair are that first condition number one condition is that both conclusions should be false first condition both conclusions should be false second condition the subject and predicate of the conclusions should be the same the third condition they must belong to i o a o or i e the conclusions must belong to any one of this category so first condition is satisfied namely both conclusions are false second condition the subject and predicate of the conclusions please remember conclusions not statements some people test this in the statements and arrive at false answers so here the conclusions what is the subject s is the subject and c is the predicate so in conclusion one and two the subject and predicate are the same therefore condition number two is satisfied then what is the third condition they must belong to i o a o or i e this is what type statement this is some s or c is i type statement no s is e type statement i and e yes it is one of the three pairs that are permitted therefore all the three conditions are satisfied if all the three conditions are satisfied it is wrong to say both the conclusions are false we should say either one of the condition is true either one or two follows so the answer for this is 
option 3 which says either condition 1 or condition 2 follows. So the answer for question number 3 is option 3 that is either condition 1 or condition 2 follows. So having seen the question number 3, let us go to question 4. Question 4 is taken from Corporation Bank Clerk Exam 2006. Some kites are threads. These are the two statements and the second statement is no thread is needle. The conclusions we have to test are Conclusion 1, some kites are needles and Conclusion 2, no needle is thread. Let us see the working. Question number 4. Statement 1 is Some K or T Question number 2 No T is N The conclusions we have to test are Some K or N Conclusion 2, we have to test is no n is t. Now what is the first step? First step identify the statements. Some k or t, i type statement. No t is n, e type statement. What is step 2? Step 2 is identify the conclusions as Mediate or immediate. Some K or N. K, N. K is in this statement. N is in this statement. Therefore, this is mediate inference. Conclusion 2. N and T. N, T. N and T is in single statement. Therefore, this is immediate inference. So what is the next step? Fourth step, we have to validate the immediate inference. The immediate inference, what is the immediate inference here? No n is t. And this is the converse of no t is n. Therefore, it is a valid conclusion. Now we have to test the mediate inference. Mediate inference has to be tested from statements 1 and 2. Is there a, for that first thing we have to do is whether there is a common term and if it is aligned. So is there a common term? Yes, there is a common term. Is it aligned? Yes, it is aligned. Therefore, we can cancel. So, now we can validly arrive at some kind of valid mediate inference. What is the valid mediate inference as per table 6? I plus E. I Eat onions is equal to O. So what is the valid inference we can draw? Some K are not N. This is the valid inference we can draw. By medi by this is the valid mediate inference we can draw from these two statements. From some k or not n, we cannot draw some k or n. We cannot conclude. We have already seen this. From this, some k or not n, we cannot conclude some k or n. Therefore, conclusion 1 does not follow. Conclusion 1 follows. So, answer for this question is 2, which indicates only conclusion 2 follows. So the answer for question number 4 is answer 2 which indicates only conclusion 2 follows.
Let us now go to the next question. Question number 5. All trains, what are the statements? All trains are icons. All cottages are icons. The conclusions are, which we have to test, are some trains are cottages and all icons are cottages. Let us see the working. Question number 5. Statement 1. All trains are icons. All T R I. Question number 2. All C R I. I. The conclusions we have to test are conclusion 1. Some T or C Conclusion 2 All I or C So what is the first step? We have to identify the statement type All T or I A type statement All C or I again A type statement What is the next step? We have to identify the conclusions as I or M. Immediate or mediate. Some T or C. Some T or C. It is in two statements. Therefore, this is mediate. Some I or C. I and C. It is in the same statement. Therefore, it is immediate. Now, we have marked the conclusions as immediate and mediate. Now, we will have to verify. First, we will verify. Step number 3 is we have to verify the validity of immediate inference. All C or I. What is the valid uh, immediate inference we can saw? We can draw some C or I or some I or C. But here it is stated all I or C. We cannot draw this conclusion. Therefore, this is false. Conclusion 2 is false. Now let us go to conclusion 1. Some T or C. It is a mediate inference and we have to uh, draw conclusions from two statements. We have to verify whether there is a common term. Yes, there is a common term I. Is it aligned? No, it is not aligned. Therefore, we have to align. Now, we have both these statements are A. A type statement. If one is A and another is A, I, we have a formula. I eat apples. I E C. That is the order of priority for conversion. Now here we have to convert which statement? We have to verify some T or C. Therefore, this T must be in the uh, 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 must be above, and the second statement must be converted, and it should be below, so that I I can be cancelled. So we will write the statement 1 all T R I this is A type statement then the second statement has to be converted that is I should come here and she I should come here and C should go here if we have to convert then we can only do it as some I or C which is I type statement so I and I we can cancel, but A plus I, no conclusion, we have already seen only 6 valid mediate inferences are possible as per our mnemonic device, please remember those mnemonic devices. So A plus I, no valid conclusion is possible, therefore this is also false. Now we have reached a stage where both conclusions are false. Now we have to verify what? You are correct. The alarm bell called complementary pair. Whether they are complementary pair? First both conclusions are uh, false. So condition number 1 is satisfied for complementary pair. Regarding condition number 2, it is not satisfying because here it is T and here it is I. Therefore the subjects are different and therefore 
they do not form a complementary pair. When they do not form the complementary pair, what is the answer? Both conclusions are false, we will stick to it. So the answer is 4, both conclusions are false. So the answer for question number 5 is answer 4 which indicates both the conclusions are false. Now let us go to the next question. Question number 6. This is taken from the United Bank of India clerk exam 2005. What are the statements? The statements are statement 1 some windows are doors. Statement 2 no door is a chair. What are the conclusions you have to test? Conclusion 1, some windows are chairs. Conclusion 2, all doors are windows. Let us work it out. Question number 6. Some windows are doors. or D. Statement 2, no door is chair, no D is C. The conclusions we have to test are, conclusion 1, some W or C or C. Conclusion 2 we have to test is, all D or W. So what is the first step? In immediate inference, arrive at the, uh, find out what type of statement it is. Some W or D, I type statement. No D is C, E type statement. What is step 2? Step 2 is identify the conclusion as I or M, immediate or mediate. Some W or C, some W or C. W is in this statement, C is in this statement, therefore it is mediate inference. Some D or W, D and W, D and W, it is in the same statement, therefore this is immediate. Now we have marked both of the conclusions as M and I. Conclusion 1 is mediate inference, conclusion 2 is immediate inference. Let us, next step is to draw the immediate inference. What is the immediate inference? Statement is some W or D. What is the valid uh, immediate inference we can draw? Some D or W. But here all D or W. We cannot draw a valid immediate inference. All D or W from W, some W or D. Therefore, conclusion 2 is does not follow. Conclusion 2 does not follow. Now we have to go to now conclusion 1, which is a mediate inference. Some W or C. W is in this statement, C is in this statement. We have to draw mediate inference means we should find whether there is a common term. Yes, there is a common term. Is it aligned? Yes, it is aligned. So we can calculate, we can cancel this D. So we can draw some valid inference. What is the valid inference we can draw according to table 6? I eat onions, I plus E is equal to O. The valid inference you can draw is some W or not C. Or not C. That is the valid inference we can draw. From some W or not C, we cannot draw, as we have seen earlier, some W or C, which is not correct. We cannot draw this conclusion. Therefore, both conclusions do not follow. So both conclusions do not follow means we have to check for complementary pair. Condition, so complementary pair with all the conditions. First condition is both must be uh, false, which is satisfied. Second condition is the subject and predicate must be the same. Here, the subject is different, 
predicate is also different therefore condition number 2 is not satisfied for complementary pair therefore they do not the conclusions do not form a complementary pair therefore we stick to our original conclusion namely both the conclusions are false so the answer is 4 both the conclusions are false The answer for question number 6 is answer 4, both conclusions are false.